Hey folks, Pastor Stephen from Beaumont Presbyterian Church here with another wilderness lesson. The reason I didn't upload one yesterday is because I took yesterday, Monday, as a Sabbath day. I felt it would be pretty ironic for me not to take my Sabbath after our last wilderness lesson was about taking your Sabbath. Uh, so I hope that since the last time we sat down together that you've had a chance to practice Sabbath with yourself, with your family, with your friends, and your loved ones, however you can. This week we begin a, a new series of wilderness lessons, and each one is about uh, staying grounded in this time of disorientation. Today's lesson is about remaining, remaining grounded in Scripture. We have been gifted... The Bible, as the living Word of God, it is the story of God's people uh, and how we have wrestled with God uh, ever since creation, and how God has remained in uh, has remained with us and never given up on us. Um, the Bible is uh, is a place that we can turn to for wisdom. For guidance, it is a place uh, that we can go through the power of the Holy Spirit to be challenged uh, and to be directed into how God is wanting us to live our lives. We do not believe that this book is just a simple uh, textbook. We don't believe that it's a, a, a science textbook. We don't believe that it's, it provides easy answers for absolutely every situation we can be in, but it gives us a deeper kind of wisdom a wisdom of how to live in community with each other as we continue to grow into being the beloved community. Right now we're having to be even more intentional about ways that we find community together in this time of social distancing, uh, but I do believe that uh, the Holy Spirit, uh, that she is very powerful and that she is able to connect us in new and surprising ways even if we cannot physically be with one another. So today I would like to talk a little bit about remaining grounded in Scripture uh, as we navigate this wilderness of Lent and the wilderness of the coronavirus. Uh, many of us, not all of us, but many of us have more free time on our hands right now. Um, some of us, uh, we, w we wish we didn't have so much free time, especially for those who have lost uh, their jobs. And we certainly, our prayers go out uh, to anyone who has lost their job. And if there's any way that we can be supportive of you, um, please let us know how we can be a family to you in this time. But if you do have more free time, now is a great time to turn to, uh, to Scripture for its wisdom and to hear what God is saying to God's church. So today I just thought that we'd spend a little bit of time with the Scriptures that are the Revised Common Lectionary uh, coming up this, uh, this Sunday. Uh, one I would like to read is Psalm 130. Psalm 130. Friends, let us listen for what God is saying to God's church. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you, so that you may be revered. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits, and in God's word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than those who watch for the morning. More than those who watch for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is steadfast love, and with him is great power to redeem. It is God who will redeem Israel from all its iniquities. Friends, holy wisdom, holy word. Thanks be to God. I wonder, what do you hear in this passage? Someone is in the depths. Someone is crying out. Someone is asking God to listen to her. Whoever is crying out for God is willing to wait. We wait for things that are important, don't we? Finally, we hear hope in this psalm. Even in the midst of the depths, even in the midst of crying out from those depths, 
the psalmist finds hope in God who is steadfast, in God who is able to redeem us. I hope that that brings you comfort this day, and I pray that in whatever depths you're crying out from, that God would hear you, and that uh, whatever those depths are, that you would share those with us if you would like to, so that we can be family to you in this difficult time. Second thing I'd like to read is from the book of Romans. This is uh, from Romans chapter 8, verses 6 through 11. It's actually just a little bit of the last part. This is from the Message Translation, again from Romans chapter 8. This resurrection life you received from God is not a timid, grave-tending life. It's adventurously expectant, greeting God with a childlike, What's next, Papa? God's Spirit touches our spirits and confirms who we really are. We know who God is, and we know who we are, parent and children. And we know we are going to get what's coming to us, an unbelievable inheritance. We go through exactly what Christ goes through. If we go through hard times with him, then we're certainly going to go through good times with him. Friends, holy wisdom, holy word. Thanks be to God. So friends, I hope that you are finding ways to remain grounded in Scripture uh, for yourself and for your family. And if you're looking for a really easy way to do that, something that doesn't take a whole lot of time, something that's very easy to do, maybe while you're having your morning coffee or doing a chore or something or, or whatever, whenever you can find time to do that, is this is a daily devotional called Feasting on the Word. Actually, excuse me, it's called Daily Feast. And it's from uh, the folks who bring us Feasting on the Word. And it is a daily, uh, a daily devotion that's based off of the lectionary, which is very helpful, especially for those of us here at Beaumont Presbyterian Church, because we uh, tend to follow the lectionary more often than not. Um, there are three volumes, year A, year B, and year C for the three years of the lectionary. We're currently in year A. Uh, so I would just like to lift this up for you. You can purchase this on Amazon.com uh, or uh, Westminster John Knox or any, any other location. If you have trouble finding them, you can reach out to me. But this is a great, uh, a great resource to, uh, to remain grounded in Scripture. So friends, you are in my prayers this day. Stay tuned to this week for more wilderness lessons. And in the meantime, uh, we hope that you will join us this upcoming Sunday at 11 as we will again live stream our worship service. So until then, my friends, be well, wash your hands, and keep in touch. God bless y'all. Bye.